hello guys you're welcome back to my channel this is me and your girl i'm super excited to have you back on my channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're my subscriber i really do appreciate you coming back to watch i want to share with you something concerning african men catching up on my last week's video where i talked about how african men do not help their wives they let them suffer doing the house chores alone and not even minding if they need their assistance and also to the other video where someone gave his response and i had to respond back to that person now it brings me to the conclusion that african men know exactly what they are doing when i say that african men know exactly what they're doing to african women african men when they go abroad and they have an african woman they still leave the african woman do all the house chores that she's supposed to do like they leave her there to do everything related to the house even when she tries to ask for help he takes it that she's disturbing or whatever and if you don't understand this you can check you will see what some of these men are saying in the comment section while some are understanding others are not so understanding they're just talking about you know african women wanting to you know emulate the western women wanting to do this wanting to do that it's all about the west they do not care because they're not home please my brother for all of you or most of you nigerian guys who get married to white women how does it play out please remind me again how does it play out do you marry a white woman and then tell her that a house chores belongs to her no you don't <laughs> you don't right you don't oh what you people do with african women are god good children to be honest with you most of these african men when they go abroad let's just say that love pushes them to a white woman not an african woman when they married or even a black american woman when they marry these people by default by default they do house chores i can attest to this because someone once told me in my comment section and that was on my facebook page yes just in case you don't know about my facebook page it's a new page that i'm trying to to build you can follow me it's called mimi's corner where i can say and unsay now white woman when i talked about something related to african men and house chores she was like oh i'm so grateful and thankful for my husband because he understands that house chores is not a woman's job he understands that house chores is our duty he helps me he does everything and then i told her oh how lucky you are sis how lucky you are and he's doing this for you because he knows you're a white woman and he knows that in your culture definitely that it's not allowed that it is shared it is a shared responsibility so which brings me to why is it that when you guys you african men when you marry women from the west you automatically believe that a house chose is for everyone it's for both you and the woman you take it in tons you even cook for her to show love what happened to the african woman they taught you at home mm -hmm. they taught you that a woman does the chores okay now this woman is also african she understands no she doesn't she doesn't and i'm still going to tell you why it's not fair it is not fair absolutely back in the days like i said before men used to go out to work and women stayed at home now a woman who stays at home will not complain to do house chores no matter what you guys are saying like what one person said in the comment section that even when they stay at home they still complain when their husbands come from work that is the biggest lie i've ever heard no woman will be at home and her husband goes to work and comes home and she's still looking for help what has she been doing at home it's not possible even on my off day 
I know how much I do. I try to make sure that everything is taken care of. I think last week, I was asking my husband who just came from work and he already ate and rested. I'm like, babe, I'm still trying to finish the cleaning. Could you please help me bait our baby? Okay. We made fun of it. He was like, why are you asking me to bait her? Blah, blah, blah. He was, although he was joking, but he wasn't, he, he told me, you're forcing me to bait her. It's not good. Like, it was a joke. But I understand that you men take it like this. Yes, he went to work and came back. Okay, I went to work and came back too. Only I came back at night and then I slept and I woke up in the morning and then I started to cook. And then I started to do all the other house chores. And then he came back from his duty and met me on my way doing it. Yes, I was still doing it. No woman who is not working would demand that from her husband. I demanded that because I was tired. So honestly, we do not need to go around or beat about the bush consigning these things. To be honest with you, it is not fair. Like I said before, and I was still making a statement that women used to stay at home. The place of a woman was supposed to be at home to take care of the kids and take care of the house. And without any complaint, they have done that for years, for ages. But what happened? Society became so tough on the man that only the man cannot meet up anymore. Believe it or not, men are tired. They walk and walk and they are sweating. So women have decided to help their husbands. Why won't you even think about helping your wife? when she's the one who's coming to help you. So my brother and my sisters, for those who are watching this, Nigerian men, African men, you guys should know exactly what you're doing because no one is an island. We understand exactly what's going on here. You won't help if you're married to a chocolate woman, but if you're married, to another woman, you automatically, by default, start to help out with house chores. <laughs> That's amazing. Who is this even who? Who is this even who? I'm asking you. Because all these things that you guys are saying, truth be told, you know it's not real. You know it is not real. But anyways, if you feel it's okay, then you go ahead and have your cake. That's all I have to say. Till I meet you again next week with something else. Do have a lovely day. Do have a blessed day. Stay happy. Stay blessed. And bye-bye.